So now they're going from Colorado to the NFL, and people are wondering if Deion Sanders is going to go from Colorado to the NFL as well. And me personally, I think this is a bunch of just bull crap. I highly, highly, highly doubt. I absolutely doubt that Coach Prime leaves Colorado just for the simple fact that there is literally no upside to him leaving college football and going to play for one of the sorriest teams and going to coach one of the sorriest teams in the NFL. It's just, it's just not convenient at all. This man is literally the face of college football coaching right now. So he has it all going for him. He already done done brought in a bunch of income for college football and NCAA. So everybody loves him. Social media is getting huge traction. TV viewings are skyrocketing. All of it. All of it is, is, is going through the roof right now. So I, I highly doubt that, you know, he'll get any, any extra love on that next level in the NFL. And I doubt that's what he's looking for, but... To, to me, it's just like, it, it's no upside of him going to the NFL. There's no legitimate sources um, that said so far that, oh, he's actually going to go or he may possibly go. It's just been a lot of wishful thinking of will he go. And I just want to end all of it right now. I honestly can't even believe that I'm dedicating some time to, to Coach Ryan possibly even leaving Colorado because I just really think it's that silly. I think it's that silly. The man has said multiple times on, on interviews and on air about how he wants to legitimately build the program. He wants to legitimately be by its side and help the kids, help the program grow, bring in new people and turn something around, turn a power five school around into an organization and a powerhouse that they are slowly becoming. So I doubt, I doubt they're in year two. He's already seen some progress. His team is winning. They're ranked. I mean, a job security. When I'm thinking about the different things of, of, of going to the NFL to actually play or, or actually coach, when, you, when I think about coaching in the NFL, um, the, the first thing that comes to mind, honestly, the job security. You get this big salary increase, of course, um, but ultimately it might not even be as much as you're making now with the college football endorsements and and also to the salary. You're one of the highest paid coaches in college football. So, you know, that may not even be that much of a difference, especially starting off as a coach in the NFL. It probably won't be no $20 million deal like Andy Reid because he's won multiple Super Bowls. They know what he can do in the league. But the job security, man, coaches is getting fired left and right. You have two bad seasons. They're already looking at you sideways. You got fans at the game chanting your name talking about fire, fire Coach Prime. So, no, that's all, That's the first things first right there. The second thing is you cannot handpick who you're going to have on your team. Like, you can with college football. Like, you decide you want to be a coach in the NFL, you can't handpick your team. They're going to say, hey, we want you to coach the Cowboys and you're going to look at the pieces and be like, damn, this is this is tragic. I, I can't do it. We're about to be three and eight again. This is about to be bad. Versus where NCAA and college football, you're actively recruiting. You're actively handpicking the guys that you want on your team and with your team. So I, I think, you know, the situation you, you walk into is what you get. You look at teams like the Raiders. With, with uh, Antonio Pierce, you look at uh, the Bears, they're about to fire Eberflus, and we know that's coming at any moment now, but those situations, coaches had to just walk into those situations and try and turn it around. Um, and, and, I mean, hey, if the front office isn't on board with certain things, they don't want to spend money, then it's going to hurt you, whereas it, with college football, all you got to do is make sure you're recruiting the right guys and making sure you're building the correct program. But you can't do that in the NFL, so that's going to hurt there. There's less control over the players because we all know how, how college athletes get exploited when it comes to, to, the, to the practice times and all the hard work that they have to do because they want to go to the next level or because they want to get endorsements. A lot of guys in the NFL, they already got the bread. They already got paid. They're, they're in commercials. They're on TV. And you see it a little bit in college football, but mainly those guys who are on TV and getting the money and stuff, it's only a, it's only a few of them. It's only a few of them that's really getting money. The rest of them is trying to get there. So you you telling them as a coach, like, hey, this is what you got to do if you want to get there. Versus NFL, no, you got to find a completely different way. That's why we don't see a lot of college coaches go to the NFL and, and have a high success rate. Nick Saban, one of the greatest college football coaches ever to coach college football, went to the NFL and turned into a complete flop. That's exactly why he went back to college football to coach in that NCAA. So I think Deion Sanders, man, him going to 
to the NFL would just be silly. I highly doubt that it actually happens. But of course, I just got to entertain the nonsense because nonsense just continues to pop up over and over and over again. But I just want you to know, no, don't 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 buy into that hype the same way. A lot of people bought into the hype with Jake Paul and and Mike Tyson. Don't buy. I'm telling you right now, don't buy into the hype. This is uh, this is all it is. 